Hi, I'm Steve Dale, here at the ACVIM Forum and the Canadian VMA Convention. And Dr. Terry DeFrancesco is a cardiac veterinarian, also boarded in not only cardiac care, but emergency and critical care. Interesting, these two, they kind of dovetail together in a way. Yeah. I want to talk about mitral valve disease in dogs. And if you have a dog, especially a small dog, this is something you need to hear about. Ex explain why, doctor. Sure, well, mitral valve disease um, primarily affects smaller, older dogs. Um, as they age, the prevalence of that problem increases, and there are estimates that maybe as many as 50% of small breed dogs, like dogs weighing under 30 pounds or so, that are over the age of 10, have a diseased mitral valve. Now, this is huge. I mean, we're talking yeah. about half of all of the dogs that are under 30 pounds have some sort of mitral valve disease. Of course, we haven't explained what that is, and we'd better. It's a kind of, it's related, it's heart disease, really. Ex explain. It is. So the mitral valve, the heart is a pump, and it needs to pump the blood in one direction. And the mitral valve closes when the large pumping chamber, that left ventricle, pumps and squeezes the blood to the rest of the body. The mitral valve prevents the blood from going in the backwards direction. And when the valve becomes diseased, it becomes thicker and it becomes shorter, and then it becomes incompetent. So it becomes leaky. And so blood starts squirting in the backwards direction instead of all going in the forward direction. And over time, that takes a toll on the heart. The heart um, begins to grow. The cardiac output or, or the blood that's going forward goes down. And then over time, um, the dog may go into congestive heart failure. I mean, it affects older dogs, so not all of the dogs actually die of heart disease. Because it's a slower process. That's and, right. And ultimately, the dog could die of something else. Correct. But, but that something else could be impacted. I mean, the, the more prone the dog might be to whatever that something else is, if, if the dog's heart isn't working well and yeah. the dog isn't feeling well. Yeah, particularly kidney disease, for example. You could see, you know, the kidneys like to be perfused with blood, and if you have heart disease and kidney disease at the same time, I do think they kind of snowball together. And yeah, so this is, this is really an important thing, and particularly for those of you who have small dogs or smaller dogs. The question is now, how do I know my dog has this? So over time, um, the early symptoms are exercise intolerance, shortness of breath, coughing. Coughing is probably the primary symptom of, of congestive heart failure. So now we're in the clinical phase of the disease. But it is a progressive disease and so it'll start out just as a murmur and the dog is feeling totally fine and then over time you may notice you know decreased exercise capacity and they're panting a lot and, and those sorts of signs unfortunately are, can be multifactorial. The dog is older, he's got some joint disease, those sorts of things. But once they start breathing hard and having um, coughing symptoms, that's usually a sign for you as an owner to get your dog to the veterinarian to get him checked out. To find a veterinary cardiologist near you, acvim.org, I'm Steve Dale. Thank you, Dr. DeFrancesco. Thank you.